For the first time, the Palo Verde Park Association held Park Fest, a free event with food trucks and live music. Now on your side's Veronica Vernaccio joins us in studio now with more on the event. Veronica? Taja, people of all ages were at the event today playing games, enjoying the music, and meeting people in the neighborhood. And for the organizers of this event, that's really what it was all about. With live music and food trucks, people went to Palo Verde Park for Park Fest. This event has four stages with 12 local bands. This is just relaxing. It's a nice way to spend a Sunday afternoon. The event, planned by the Palo Verde Park Association, is to help bring neighbors together. Our neighborhood is centered um, around the park and we are trying to do more events to get people in our neighborhood to use the park. We noticed that there just didn't seem to be, nobody knew anybody, everybody was doing their own separate thing and we wanted to try to just make it a little more cohesive neighborhood. Norma Kaufman helped start the Park Association almost a year ago. She says her old neighborhood inspired her. I lived in a small town there and and I, all the things that they got together and they did, you don't have that in a big town. And I thought, well, if we can start on a neighborhood level, who knows what we can do. She got together with Ward 2's Councilman Paul Cunningham to create change. In the next year, Palo Verde Park will have resurfacing of the tennis courts, parking lots redone, and will be the first park in Tucson to receive a splash pad. And I don't think that would have happened without the neighborhood becoming active and the neighborhood supporting these efforts. And, and that's, that, that, that was all them. I'd, I'd love to take credit for it, but it was definitely the neighbors and the neighborhood coming together to make this happen. He says events like Park Fest show that this association is proof when a neighborhood comes together, good happens. The plan to have another Park Fest even bigger next year. It's the best is yet to come. This is the first time out. Just wait till we go next year and the year after. Kaufman also tells me they're working on getting street signs for the neighborhood. They would say Palo Verde neighborhood and be seen throughout. They have 11, but their goal is to get 33. For more information on how to donate, visit our website, kagan9.com. Veronica Vernaccio, Kagan9 on your side.